What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about Alpine 4 Holdings, ALPP. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a full on going in one direction that is a steam engine, a locomotive pushing ahead. I mean this is an incredible stock. This is an incredible company led by a conductor slash CEO in Kent Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, this is incredible information. We really find out what they're wanting to do within the drone sector. We're going to see a merger of companies, really a merger of subsidiaries within Alpine 4 Holdings. And we're also going to find out that they're going to go ahead and push forward with a company, an advisory company, that is going to help them hopefully see the nasdaq so we're going to be talking about all of this in this video so if you're interested in alpine for holdings alpp i suggest you stay tuned right after this Before we dive in and you get a ton of information, a lot of good information, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into the video. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm beyond excited to provide this content because if you've watched this channel, number one, you understand how excited I get when drones and drone news and really positive things happen around this sector. I think every time something like this happens, this only projects more out to the people to understand drones are coming and they're going to be doing some very special things for businesses, for individuals. I mean, it's going to be amazing. And I've talked about it so many times, like the vast amount of opportunity with drones and really the incredible amount of tasks that drones are going to be able to complete for businesses and people are going to be just incredible. You're talking about package delivery. That is a massive, you know, money generator alone right there. You're talking about pharmaceuticals being delivered and medicines delivered for people who can't go get those. I mean, you're talking about food delivery for people who need a quick, you know, bite to eat and they need it delivered quick. I mean, you're talking about just a ton of different things. You start talking about construction. You start talking about surveying. You start talking about insurance. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. You're taking a lot of human element out of this stuff and creating less danger for an individual, and you're putting in a drone that may or you know may not take some damage or do some things in some situations where a human life could be at risk and i think that is what is significant you know I, i'm really excited to just see drones evolve and really become something so special for people and this company is doing that you're going to hear that they are in the infant stage and a lot of these drone companies are what you would consider an infant stage and that's because they're not performing the task just yet whether that is due to the faa or that is also just because the company is still developing and evolving they're trying to pr create a product that is going to be accessible and wanted by people I think that is important and that's why I really wanted to convey this message to you guys. Now the first thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to Alpine 4 Holdings is the fact that, you know, we've been anticipating a NASDAQ uplisting for a while now. And you know, I think from everything that we're able to see, it seems like ALPP or Alpine 4 Holdings has done what they've expected to do. Now Alpine 4 Holdings is like, you know what? We want to be aggressive. We want to go out and we want to show that we deserve to be there. And I think that this is a very bold statement. So this is coming directly from their Twitter account. Alpine 4 Holdings, uh, ALPP, Alpine 4 Leadership has opted to engage the services of Donahoe Advisory to work directly with the NASDAQ on our behalf. They specialize in assisting with uplistings. Visit their uh, site to see extensive list of companies they have had success with. Now I saw some you know some screenshots of what people have posted who they've really assisted i mean there's a ton ladies and gentlemen if you go to their website there is a lot uh, i do believe i saw ag eagle as one of those that was assisted and i also believe i saw workhorse uh, both of those are drone entities so i think that that is extremely significant to know that they at least helped some other drone companies and i understand 
Alpine 4 Holdings is not just drones. They do so much more. It's a tremendous company based on everything that they're doing and they're involved with. So I'm just excited to talk about that. Now it gets that much better. And the reason is because drones, two drone companies, two subsidiaries that are within Alpine 4 Holdings are coming together to basically create a monster unit. And it's tremendous because they're going to be able to offer multiple styles of drones. You know, we're going to find out that the G1 and the G2 uh, are actually quadcopters. And then you're going to find out that the US-1 is actually more of like a plane style. And I think that that is significant because what that's going to do is that's going to offer an array of options for someone who is interested now that these two companies are going to be coming together and we're going to talk about that right now so alpine four holdings a leading operator and owner of small market businesses announces that its subsidiaries and possible aerospace corporation and vayu inc will merge together to become vayu aerospace corporation inc the company expects the merger to be completed by october 1st 2021 the new company vayu aerospace corporation inc will be located in ann arbor michigan at the current facility vayu operates in and the new company website will be, as you can see right there, vayuaerospace.com, which I did go to. It was kind of having some good functions, and then I think they're still doing some maintenance to it, so it had some functionalities that went down. But obviously, they're bringing two companies together and will take the place of two prior websites for IA and Vayu. Quality Circuit Assembly Inc., which we understand is another subsidiary, one of Alpine's four other subsidiaries, will still manufacture and assemble the components for the US-1 airframe and will also be adding many new components to the G-1 and G-2 airframes as well. Alpine 4 CEO Kent Wilson lays out the merger overview in the CEO letter below. Right before we dive into that though, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go over a few things. There is obviously an opportunity to be able to provide multiple drones and i've hit on that and i think you're going to see that in this very first statement this very first statement that comes from ceo kent wilson remember in the beginning the conductor of this locomotive i could put this statement in every single one of my videos and the reason is is because it's very bold and it states exactly what the current state of drones basically is and where we're going from a financial standpoint but really just where we're at as a company and also the sector in a way it says the first uh, excuse me prior to the acquisition of impossible aerospace and Vayu inc i laid out three over uh, arching goals for our soon to be aerospace acquisitions the culmination of working through these overreaching goals uh, revealed the importance of merging these two great companies into one the first goal was to leverage the tens of millions of dollars in R&D accumulated between the two companies into a leader in the commercial drone space. The commercial drone industry is still in its infancy and is expected to grow from $4.4 billion in 2018 to $63 billion by 2025. Ladies and gentlemen, that just doesn't happen overnight. There is tremendous amounts of revenue that can be had. We're going to talk about that. Within the commercial drone industry, we believe that the three airframes the us1 the g1 and the g2 are well positioned to grab market share in various sectors including freight surveillance and military applications so we're going to break this down just a little bit i'm excited just for those numbers that just reveals exactly what the expectations still are for this company i've talked about it multiple times in so many videos that 2025 is going to be very significant I still believe that it could be scooched up just a little bit just because I think people are doing diligent work behind the scenes and I think it ultimately comes down to the FAA in the end that's just my thoughts I think technology is in place from hearing and talking to CEOs doing interviews I mean you guys see it firsthand on this video uh, the transparency you get so you know you're seeing everything that is going on within the sector for the most part um, the next piece that I want to talk about is the fact that multiple drones are being offered. So if a company comes to Alpine for Holdings and says, hey, we're looking to use this or do this, you know, do, what do you have to offer? Well, ladies and gentlemen, they can offer you the US-1, they can offer you the G-1, or the G-2. And I think that's significant. Plus, they talk about some of the aspects that they're really focusing on. 
which is freight surveillance and military applications. And that military applications should be underlined just because of the background of some of the employees. Obviously, Mr. Greer comes from the Air Force uh, with a very extensive background in the aerospace field. Um, and so I really think that there's going to be a lot of push towards the military aspect. We already know that they have ties with the Air Force, so I think that's significant. The second overarching goal I laid out was to guide future R&D around a specific purpose. That purpose is to build our drone airframes so that they are the go-to airframes for freight and logistics. Solving complex logistics and load capabilities will help Bayou Aerospace uh, Corporation put its stamp on the ever-growing industry of delivery and supply chain and accentuate our capabilities with our growing military clientele. I think that should be underlined as well. I would also add that the mandate is so or is no small order. Our goal is not simply to leverage the three great airframes of I Impossible Airspace US-1 and Bayou's G-1 and G-2 into the leaders into the automation of short and medium haul freight delivery, but to firmly place Bayou Aerospace Corporation on the global map as, they, as the gold standard of highly adaptable, long endurance, and reliable aircraft. I think that is a very bold statement as well. Um, you know, obviously you're trying to perfect and, and build out in the United States, but now you're talking about a global operation, and I think that becomes a very significant piece because there are some great competitors when you start talking about a global operation. So for them to come out that bold and put out a statement like that, I'm excited to see that go in place. The third overarching goal uh, was to empower the leadership to depart from the thinking of their former investors. This departure meant a new way of thinking about their respective companies. Companies not solely focused on how much money could be made, but how to focus on products of the future. I've learned that with patience and focus, great things can happen. But for it to grow correctly, it takes time, resources, and well-developed team. One of the first changes we made was adding to and shoring up, shoring up our talented pool of employees. I'm, all, I'm so proud to say we are attracting the best and the brightest to work at Bayou Aerospace Corporation. We have brought in talent from various places, including companies like Scaled Composites, the designer and manufacturer of Virgin Galactic Spaceship One. Ladies and gentlemen, space is now involved. So if you remember, Virgin Galactic obviously is trying to take people to space. This was a very, very, and still is a very hot topic and a very hot stock, uh, you know, going around YouTube and a lot of people are invested. So they were able to really attract some people to them. GE Aviation, Northrop Grumman, Bosch, and amongst other great companies. Ladies and gentlemen, Northrop Grumman is by far one of the most significant military uh, operations, companies out there when it comes to aerospace. I mean, they are just heavily, heavily involved into military entities. I mean, a lot of our aircraft come from Northrop Grumman that is military related. So again, another tremendous, tremendous piece right there. Um, you know, obviously GE Aviation, uh, GE has obviously been very involved with that as well. And then Bosch, of course. This says a lot about the company we are building when employees of such pedigree want to work with us. And I think that right there is underline, underline, bold, underline, and put into italics. That speaks volumes, ladies and gentlemen. When you want to leave those types of companies and come work for Alpine Four Holdings, I think that really does speak volumes to what they're trying to accomplish and what they're doing there. Another change we made, which is uniquely Alpine 4, was to drive our motto of side, uh, synergistic innovation drives and excellence. This meant inclusion and access on the deeper level to uh, the capabilities of other subsidiaries. This sharing has already begun to bear fruit as, other, uh, as our subsidiary quality circuit assembly in Alpine 4 engineering team have redesigned the new avionics hardware for the g1 platform and are nearing completion with the new us1 successor the us2 which we've kind of seen pictures of and in the works this collaboration between subsidiaries under the guise of side allows for complex development to occur in record time and has frankly built a superior product compared to its predecessor 
which was no easy feat considering how amazing these two airframes already are. And I think, again, that just speaks volumes to what they're trying to accomplish. Now, benefits of the combination of Impossible Aerospace and Vayu, because I know that's probably a good question, and that's obviously a question they're probably going to get a lot. And it says, an enhanced and more focused supply chain. So that makes sense immediately. Various disconnected and non-uniform hardware pieces in the US-1 and G-1 present various supply chain issues in the post-pandemic world. Maximizing the supply chain efforts between airframes will lower cost, increase product availability, and enhance Vayu's ability to service aircraft in the field or in one of our repair facilities. So I think that is another thing you need to underline, repair facilities. There's not a ton out there, and that's something to really consider. Um, you know, if a drone goes down, where are you going to take it? So I think the fact that they say one of our rep uh, repair facilities that should be something you really keep in your mind. R&D streamlining. The drone aerospace sector is extremely capital, uh, extremely capital in intensive due to rigorous R&D outlays that need to be realized to improve and upgrade airframes and avionic platforms. Impossible Aerospace and Vayu combined have spent over $20 million on building out their airframes to bring them to market. This type of outlay will need to continue for a period of time and combining both airframes into one development team will greatly enhance the uniformity of the airframes and increase our R&D efficiency. What I also think that does is that just really creates a well-rounded drone. I mean, it really does. You you just are creating some very good drones in this situation and it's just it's very very good. Unified aeronautics and avionics platform across airframes. So what you're doing is you're going to start doing the combining the suit of avionics packages into one unified platform allows for a more detailed and nimble detailed and nimble flying aircraft, a more user-friendly operating environment, one training system for customers, and a more secure communications platform for the US-1, US-2, G-1, and G-2. Also and probably one of the more valuable benefits will be a more robust IP asset that can be capitalized in the future as the company grows in the market. Another piece I think you've got to take into consideration. You're seeing a lot of these other drone companies go out and get companies that are very involved in the SaaS offering. So software as a solution. They're developing, building out their own, acquiring them. It'll be interesting to see if that is something that is on the slate for Alpine for Holdings. Now, fixed cost reduction. And I think this is a big piece. Combining the two operating companies into one company with a single location is expected to reduce G&E expenses by 20% and diffuse future G&A capital expenditures by 40%. That right there is a big deal because you're talking about really reducing some numbers and making it a lot more efficient and effective. Larger customer footprint, another significant one. Combining each company's airframes under one sales team and marketing initiative will significantly enhance cross-product sales capabilities and drive increased customer satisfaction. I could not agree more, and I basically stated that earlier on in this entire presentation. In closing, I am so very proud of our employees. Over the past six months, these employees have been the foundation on which we will build this great company on. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed. The merger of Impossible Aerospace and Bayou represents a huge leap forward in the development of the A4 Aerospace, Inc.'s drone-related products and services. We are very excited about what is, or excuse me, what this new company will mean to our customers, shareholders, and employees. Signing off, the engineer, the conductor of this locomotive freight train, Kent B. Wilson, CEO, President, and Founder. Now, we're going to kind of dive in and hear from Spencer Gore and also Daniel Pepper. Spencer Gore of Impossible Aerospace commented, I am very excited by this next chapter in Impossible Aerospace's history. This merger will allow the companies to leverage each other's experience and IP to produce exciting new products. The collaboration has existed for quite some time now, but I'm glad to see it is made official. I agree. I think that they probably were doing this anyways, and now it's just official and it makes that much more sense. Daniel Pepper of IU Inc. commented, This blending of talent, resources, and technologies will further Vayu's vision of building the most robust, reliable, and capable aircraft available on the market today. We couldn't be happier with this solid foundation underfoot and bright future ahead. 
Could not agree more, Mr. Pepper. And it's exciting to see all this go on. Man, I'm super excited for this. And it's really going to be cool just to see it, everything come to fruition and continue to steam ahead like I stated in the opener. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really think that this is a lot of content, but it's a lot of much needed and very positive content, especially if you're an Alpine for Holdings investor or you're someone who's interested in Alpine for Holdings. I really do believe that this company is starting to add the final pieces to a lot of things. You know, I would expect them to see, uh, you know, a software as a solution type aspect, um, really start talking about drone solutions um, here in the near future. I think that's probably a next step, but I really think if this was a big puzzle, we're kind of seeing the last pieces go in place when it comes to this, and they'll only continue to add those final pieces in here and there. I, I think this is an exciting time because a lot of these companies are ready to really release what they're doing they're fine-tuning in this case they're going from the us1 to the us2 um, and, and i just think that there's a lot of that going on but really we're just waiting for a huge approval from the faa and that's what's exciting so you know 2025 is going to be a big time when it comes to drone companies and really as you guys are seeing a lot of money and a lot of revenue could be had i do appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this video i do want to remind you guys i'm not a financial advisor and anything i say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only and that's exactly what i'm here to do is entertain and you guys know how i do it if you like this video smash that like button it helps out tremendously and if you enjoyed the content because i'm going to keep the content flowing subscribe to my youtube channel and as always have a good day.